Let's prove the following theorem in abstract algebra. Let G be an abelian group of order 51. Then there is up to isomorphism only one, and it is a cyclic group of order 51, which is therefore isomorphic to Z modulo 51. Now, this theorem will follow from the classification of finite abelian groups, but let's prove it here directly. So let G be such a group, an abelian group of order 51, and now the strategy is going to be to show that there is an element of order 3 and an element of order 17, and out of those two I'm going to build an element of order 51, which will generate the entire group. Now, the existence of those elements will actually follow from something called Cauchy's theorem, but uh, let's not assume that and actually prove that such elements have to exist also as an example of Cauchy. So let G be an element that is not the identity, then by Lagrange's theorem, the order of G divides the order of the group, which is 51. Therefore, the order of G has to be 1, 3, 17, or 51. Now, if the order of G is 51, then the subgroup generated by G has 51 elements, just like G, so it generates all of G, and we know that a group that is of order 51 and cyclic is isomorphic to Z modulo 51. So suppose G has order 3, or respectively order 17, the argument is the same. If G has order 3, and suppose that every element in G has order 1 or 3, then what happens? Well, the subgroup generated by G has 1, G, and G as square elements, so we can take, uh, this is only 3 out of 51 elements, so there are other elements that are in G but not in this group, and uh, take any such H. The subgroup generated by G and H will have exactly these elements, 1, G, G as square, then H and H as square, and then products of H and Gs, and it's all of them. There is uh, 3, 5, 7, 9 elements, and the subgroups generated by G and H are uh, disjoint. The only intersection of such groups, uh, because these would have order 3, this is 1 G, G square, 1 H, H square, so the intersection is trivial, and the group is abelian, so all the elements in these uh, groups commute, and those are precisely the conditions to prove that something is an internal direct product. So the subject generated by G and H is the internal direct product or isomorphic to the direct product of the subgroups generated by G and H, uh, which are isomorphic to Z modulo 3 and Z modulo 3. So this subgroup is isomorphic to Z modulo 3 cross Z modulo 3. Then that subgroup has order 9, but the order of the subgroup has to divide the order of the group, which is 51, and that is a contradiction. A contradiction with what? With the fact that we assumed that every element had order 1 or 3, so there must be uh, that if G has order 3, there has to be an element of order 17 or 51. If it's of order 51, then we're done. Uh, and similarly, if G had order 17, then there is an element of order 3 or 51. If it is 51, we are done. So what happens if the order of G is 3 and H has order 17? Then we can look at G times H. G times H to the 51st power has this expression by the loss of exponents, but g to the 3 is 1 and h to the 17 is 1, so this is the identity. Now, is that the order? Well, if it's not the order, the order divides 51. So let's see if it's uh, 3, g times h to the 3rd power is g to the 3 times h to the 3. By the way, this is true because uh, the group is abelian. And uh, g to the 3 is 1, so this is h to the 3, which is not 1 because h has order 17. Similarly, g times h to the 17th power is g squared, which is not the identity because g has order 3. g times h is not the identity because g and h are not inverses of each other. The subgroups of g and h are disjoint, and uh, g and h have different orders, so they cannot be inverses of each other. So the order of g times h is 51, and therefore g is generated by the element g times h, and therefore G is isomorphic to Z modulo 51.